name is Patricia Holmes and we are beginning chapter 7. So chapter 7 we're going to be creating a magazine cover and uh, the author has provided us this file which I went ahead and saved as working uh, PSD. I also made sure I have the file um, fit on the screen so it, I made it a bit smaller. It's presently looking at 25% so you can make it smaller by using the um, minus on the magnifying or you can come over here and you can view you can zoom it in and out to make it smaller okay so let's get going here Let me turn that off because I want to show you how to do that I left that on okay first thing we're going to do is you're going to save your chapter 7 as a different name than the original so we can always have the original copy to go back to so I saved it as working and um, I also want to point out that I need you, per the author, to come over here and click that far right icon and choose graphic and web because we're going to be making um, a graphic and the idea is for the web. Okay, let's kick one. We have two layers here and we're going to be working primarily on the background layer. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the rulers on. So come over here to view, choose rulers, and you'll see the horizontal ruler and you'll see the vertical ruler. Take your move tool, which is right here, the cross, and come over here to this, just click right onto the ruler, hold your mouse down and drag it. So the author wants us to bring this at 4.25, which is right here, which is exactly the middle, and let go, and you'll see this this line which is we're going to use as a guide. Next what you're going to notice is the character um, layer, the character um, panel I mean is open right here. Per the author's request we're going to use Mini and Pro and the author is requesting uh, 144, a big old font. So actually it's a little bit big for me so I'm going to go 140 the author has asked us to put the tracking at 100, which what that does is it spreads the text. It puts space between each letter. And let's go ahead and make it all capital. Let me click on this. And we want to make sure that the text is black. So we're going to, we're going to type in the word digital. So hit the T over here. Make sure you're on horizontal not vertical text. Come over here, type in digital, take your move tool, grab the text, put it right there. Now you'll see that the model's head is covering a little bit of it, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer, digital, and we're going to drag it to the top. Now the top is foremost. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up an image that the author has provided. So go into File, Open, and go into your Chapter 7 and open up a circuit board image. So you'll see this gigantic green circuit board. So we need, we need to put these two images side by side. So I want you to go Window, Arrange, Two Up, Vertical. Now we see them side to side. Click your mouse onto this chip, this green uh, circuit board chip, and drag it. Hold your mouse and drag it over onto the file we've been working on. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Okay, good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command T, uh, which is free transform. I'm going to just free transform the size. This should be a little bit bigger than the text we just typed. Okay, good. All right, hit enter. There. So what we have here is we have a layer, we have the text, we have the model in the background. So what I want you to do is I want you to hit control click onto this top circuit board layer and go down towards the bottom. Here we go. And choose create clipping mask and click it. Ta-da! So what just happened is that the image came through the text. And this is a clipping mask. 
and uh, the, the image has to be on top of the text, so the text has got to be a bottom layer right there. Okay, moving along, let's see, what are we doing next? Wow, we just quickly, we're just moving through this chapter really quickly. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to create a type, some text coming out of the mouth here, and then eventually some text on the right, but I think I'm going to save that for the next video so I can keep these short and sweet. Okay, guys, this is the end of part one, chapter seven. Thanks for listening. And uh, please carry on to the next uh, videos until we are completely done with this chapter.